Hey y'all, Jay is Creations Our Sanity here. So I'm back with, I'm going to do another crochet video today. Um, I'm going to show you how I've been making these scrunchies. They're super quick and easy. Um, there's no counting stitches or anything, so it's one of those mindless projects. So what you'll need is, I am using probably not going to be able to see it, but I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need some um, hair bands, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and I use the um, Bernat velvet yarn to make these. It's just it's it's so soft So let's get started Okay, we're gonna start with a slip knot and I just take and I wrap it twice around my finger Take the back loop move it to the front your new back loop take and slip it right on over the tip of your finger Okay, now you're going to get your hair tie, your hair band, and we're going to attach this yarn to this. Now, this is how I do it. So we're going to do a slip stitch to attach this. So all you do is take your hook, put it in the center of the band, grab up a loop, and slip it through. Now. You could um, just go ahead and take your yarn and tie it to here, either way. So now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Because we're gonna do treble um, stitches. So we're going to yarn over twice. Insert our hook in the middle, and I'm working over the tail of our yarn. Um, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two stitches, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, go through the last two. And there's your first treble crochet, your treble stitch. And that's all we're going to do all the way around here. So, just keep working on that, and I will meet back up with you when we get back around here. So here I've been working over my tail here. Now I'm just going to take a minute, and I'm going to weave my tail back under the stitches that I've already done. So I'm just going to take my needle and go back through some of these stitches. Just going to go back and forth a couple of times just to secure that tail in there. And then I'm just going to snip it off. Okay, now I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to pull my stitches together. Okay, and just keep working.
Okay, so it looks like I am, well, I am back around, but I can fit quite a few more stitches on here. So what you do, well, what I wanna do, cause I want more of a ruffle, is you're going to scoot your stitches over just like that, scrunch them up and it makes that little ruffle. Now, you're gonna add more. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you get your band um, as full as you want it. Okay, I have all the stitches that I'm going to put on here. So now, to finish this off, you're going to find the top of your first stitch, your first treble stitch. Not your chain, we're gonna skip over that and we're gonna find the top of the first actual stitch. So it's gonna be like right here. And we're going to slip stitch to close. So we just go in, pull up a loop, and pull through. Okay, now we're going to cut our yarn. Leave a little bit of a tail, you don't need much. Just enough so that you can weave in and kind of secure it. So now you're just going to yarn over again and pull that tail through and it kind of puts a knot down in there. So now you're going to take your needle and you're just going to weave this tail in back and forth a few times just like we did on the other one to Secure that, cut off the extra, and there your scrunchie is done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And um, till next time, bye.